Well, good evening, guys. Um, <laughs> I was about to take this fake plant out of Bella's cage, and she decided to actually come out because I put her cage on the bed. And now you guys can finally see what Bella looks like. The African banded toad gecko. Beautiful species. If I would have known this, I would have done this a long time ago to get Bella to come out to show you guys to her. I think she knows. She is, swear to God, she knows every time I'm about to upgrade her cage. Because when I put her, a plant in here, she did the exact same thing, but I wasn't smart enough or quick enough to grab my camera. And luckily I had my phone next to me on the bed because I'm playing music. And come on, come running. Come close there. Hi, Bella. She's so pretty. That's why I said they got, they were. It was iffy to tell at first of what species she was. You see how she's really similar to the cave geckos? The only difference is they don't have the distinct red eyes. Because I never had a cave gecko, so I don't know if all cave geckos have those distinct red eyes that they're known for having. But... That's my girl, Bella. Of course, I'm not going to get through the screen very well. I'm just turning the cage around. Can she moves more and more as I turn the cage? But the front view is pretty good. Just trying to get a good... I watered her cage, so... It's uh, pretty misty and wet right this second. So, I'm trying to get a good angle of her so you guys can really see a close-up look of her. Especially since we got her out during the daylight. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. You see how she don't have the red eyes, but you see how the similarities are close to a to, uh, Chinese cave geckos with her. Now, sometimes her stripes, um, they might, like, look w white, but they actually do have a yellow tint to them because actually in certain lighting, they actually become, like, yellow. Because when I first got her, if you go back on some of my older... Oh, films. I'm trying to get her to come back out. There she is. See, she keeps running around in circles. When I first got her, her bands were yellow. They were a real yellowish color. So, as time's been going on, they have been becoming more of a white stripe. But there is some yellow to it. And though some of the lighting, it actually does look like a yellow color. But look how beautiful she is. Well, I guess I'm not putting a new plant in her cage. I guess she's not having that. I was trying to put a nice plant in here. Because I just actually redid Cersei's cage. Cersei got a new plant. I took the fake plant out. The other plant I had in there, it didn't work out too well. It died. And I was going to get... Because um, I'm upgrading everyone's cages with these plants. I actually took the fake plant out of um, Cersei's cage and just left the real one in there for her. It's a nice beautiful um, ivy cage and she's going to love it. I promise you the only time I'm a green thumb is when it comes to outdoor gardens and I am not so good with some of these tropical plants. Some tropical plants I'm pretty good with but some I'm not so good with quite honestly. Some of them are done pretty good like these ones. I don't know the name of them. They remind me of a palm tree kind of but they're really cool and i got like the ones in um tisha's cage more tisha's cage my tokyo geckos they're doing beautiful look how big they're getting they're almost to the top of her cage which i'm worried about because it didn't say on the sticker how tall they get which i hate when you get them from the grocery store sometimes because sometimes people take the stickers off or stickers fall off or the the little stick things are in pots people pull out kids pull out and then they just sell the pots with the plants anyways and just say oh pretty tropical foliage and that's it I mean, they don't specifically say what the plants are and then it's like oh you gotta guess now here's the, here's Clary's cage. Now that Bella's caging next to Clary's cage, but here's her cage. Her plants are spreading through pretty good. It's spread through the hole to the other side. So it looks like I did recently add more dirt because of the way it was popping out. But it spread through the back, and then it spread the hole to 
on this side. But it's still really cool. And she's actually, Claire's actually right there in her plant. So it's spreading through there pretty good. I'm debating if I should put one more in here. Like maybe a pothos, like back in this corner. But I'm not sure yet because she's being upgraded anyways. And the animals that are going in these cages next are, well, they're going to be crested geckos. I'm going to get babies. So it's not like the crusties aren't going to be in here. They are going to be crusties, but they're just going to be babies. Because, yeah, I consider these as baby tanks. And then they're, they're, like, really tall. Don't worry, they're not small. It's just the way my camera is. Trust me. But they're actually a pretty, pretty good size. They're really deep too, like way deep. But, <laughs> see she ran off again, watch when I'll move her cage again, she'll freaking spaz and come back out. And that's the only problem, yeah, see she popped right back out. And I have to turn it and stuff and open it to actually put the plant in there, which I don't think is gonna happen tonight. So I think I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to get um, a carrier because I actually don't have a catch cup for my reptiles because honestly I don't have problems that often with a lot of them escaping the one I do have problems with escaping is my long tail grass lizard and he's a tiny thing and he fits perfectly in the catch cups that I do have but these bigger my bigger species of geckos and stuff I have I actually really don't I don't have escape issues not for one, but a lot of the ones that I normally do have escape issues with, I <laughs> I put locks on their cages. And they know better. They know not to. They know by now not to try to come out when I'm um, doing stuff. Unless I want to bring them out to play. Definitely is a female. Yep, that's definitely a girl. I'm glad she spread like that. That's the first time I was actually able to see her end of her body in during daylight. But yeah, confirmed girl. But I couldn't actually tell at first. I kind of guessed. So, but yeah, definitely a female. It's her tail. I'm beautiful. <laughs> You're not gonna let me do this tank, are you? She's like, no, nope, not at all. I guess I'll just put her back. I'm gonna find a different cage to do. Hi, there you are. What you doing? I see you. Yep, I see you. You're beautiful. She's giving me an evil look like, why are you messing with me? So pretty. There's a cricket right there. Go eat it. She's finicky about eating her food too. I see you. Don't worry. You're okay. Alright, I'll stop bothering you. I'll put her back. I don't want to stress her out too much. Alright, I put Bella back. I don't want to stress her out too much. She's a rare species, so I do want to be careful with her. Because she's a rare species to, like, have in Pennsylvania. I don't know if anybody can get them anywhere else, but where I live... They're considered rare to find in our hobby. But yeah, this is Cersei's cage now. I took out the fake plants. She has an African violet in there. A tree stomps. And then I got a nice ivy plant that's going to spread through her cage. She's, and if anybody don't know what Cersei is, Cersei is my African blue tail skink. Actually, I'm thinking about putting the other ivy plant in, um, in Blue's cage. My other African blue tail skink. Because it's going to grow, they're going to grow like crazy. That's the only reason why I'm debating on if I should do that. Oh, there's Blue. We never see Blue. I'm surprised Blue's out. Hi, Blue. What you doing? I'm surprised you're sitting there. Yep, bye. <laughs> That's all you'll see of Blue. <laughs> Blue's just like Bella. These are all of my animals with a B, like, forget it. You won't see them for long. Maybe I shouldn't pick B names. Of course, there's Avery, tuckered out. 
She had a busy day of getting herself in trouble. Ming Ming's getting herself in trouble, meanwhile. She's sitting here digging holes all over her cage. I think she just dug this hole. She, I guess she thinks she can escape. Because earlier I caught her on top of her plant. And she was trying to push her lid open again. So now she thinks she can dig her way out. She's just getting herself in trouble tonight. I'm going to throw some crickets in there to probably occupy her for a little bit. There's Dream being beautiful. He is so pretty. Are you, is that what you're digging for? Are you digging for food, Ming Ming? Wait, she stopped real quick. She said, I'm not doing anything. I did nothing, Mom. I'm being a good girl. What are you doing, stinker? You being bad. She's like, it wasn't me. <laughs> Look at that cute face. so funny the way she stops herself and she per she like perches her back legs like pushes herself up like she's a puppy so that I didn't do nothing I just really love how this cage came out and I have another ivy plant that I just got so I'm trying to figure out who else's cage I should do I really actually want to put more in Echo's cage but that little snot is really fast and the last time I almost lost him he lost his tail and uh, he just regrew back that tail I don't know if I even want to mess with him. Hi, Night Fury. Looking furious and cute. I just fed all the tarantulas last night. Look at that tunnel system. I know, I keep having squirrel moments. I'm like all over the place tonight. I turned her cage around. I put her water dish now on this side. Because that side was getting a little too wet. So, she's on the other side. I wanted to turn her around also because I wanted to be less stressed out. I got big Night Fury's game. Night Fury's getting out of that cage this week. They're being upgraded. Jade is being upgraded. Jade's being upgraded because look at that. Salem's out. Salem just got done shedding. So I have to go in there and dig out that shed. But Salem is being upgraded this week. Also because Salem's going into a glass enclosure. So I don't have to worry about that. So soon Salem will be in a glass cage so that whole all glass cages are gonna be up there and then the Antilles will go into there and the holes I don't think it could get out those holes nah nah Jade's bigger than those holes like Jade's small but I put small tarantulas in there so if any yeah Jade can't get out those holes those holes are too small so you're going to see uh, a lot of new changes coming up in the next week or two. And of course, getting some new children. They better not arrive dead or I'm going to be really pissed off. I'm get, trying to get two more new slings and I'm going to see how that goes. So I'm super, super excited. So beautiful. But yeah, the sun's starting to set outside. But I'm going to try to figure out whose cage I'm going to upgrade next and add some more plants into once I figure out where to put this other ivy plant. Um, I will film it and show you guys how it goes because I only got one hand and yeah, this, I don't want any animals escaping while I'm trying to add plants into their cage. Hi cutie! Too bad I can't put live plants in your guys' cages. Every time I do it, you all destroy them. I bet you the babies want it. I might put some in the baby's cages. I'll get some different plants. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now it is totally nighttime. And now that I put the cage back since earlier and she's calmed down more, she came actually back out. Actually, I think she's doing pretty good. She's actually getting pretty warmed up. It took me a couple months to get her to this point. Um, like I said, um, from what I've noticed with these reptiles is, uh, well, this species of gecko anyways, is a really, really skittish and shy. And it's taken me so long to get Bella to come out like this. She's been coming out every night for over the past week now. So, if you guys ever come across, like, um, African banditto geckos and, uh, 
they they don't they hide for months. <laughs> don't worry, it just takes oopsie. I moved around near her cage. But yeah, it takes them a little bit to get comfortable. They're still pretty skittish. Hi big girl. You watching me? You watching mommy? Yeah. I see you. You're beautiful. Yeah, too cute. But yeah, um it takes them a while to really come around to people because they really are finicky. So, like I said, there's no information about um, their species really in captivity because it's hard. Or out in the wild, yet. Yeah. No, I don't think anyone's really found them that easy in the northern part of Africa. I can't even find online the actual geological location of where they're precisely from. It all says it's in the northern part of Africa, so they must be a very, very hard species to come by even in the wild so i'm really lucky i came across her it just sucks that no one really knows much about them so i've been trying to study her behaviors and take care of her the best i can like every day she's doing beautiful she's thriving beautifully that's my crested gecko precious i didn't want to just put a camera on a the empty cage she ran off <laughs> but yeah um it's, it's taken a couple months to get her to this point. I've had her... Oh, it's been almost a, almost a year. Not quite yet that I've had her. It's been like a 10, 11 months since I got her. Something like that. But it's almost a year since I've had her. And she's just finally now coming around where she's actually comfortable to co finally come out more. I think she's gotten better that I put her next to the bed. That way she sees me all the time. She hears me all the time. Like, she peeks out through that den right there. During the day, she'll wrap herself up under there, but then her head, she'll pop her head out and watch me. So, I think since if I brought her closer to the bed, she's, she's been um, getting more sociable and comfortable knowing that I'm here. So, if you guys ever come across that African banditto gecko, or any type of gecko that's really shy, just make sure you put their closure, like, next to your bed, or at least, like, talk to them or socialize with them as much as you can to break the shyness because no matter what they'll still be shy it's just in their nature of how they are but it'll make them less shy than what they originally was hi beautiful what you like so pretty i love my girls the majority of my animals are girls i have a lot of boys too but my girls are so cute the boys aren't out right now oh never mind there's jace it's hard to see him Look how well he blends in with the sticks. It's crazy how he blends in. That's a golden gecko for you. They blend in so beautifully. I love their camouflage. That's one gecko that can really camouflage in very well with his surroundings. Sometimes I can't tell when he's in front of me. So I always have to be careful when I feed him because he is a spunky one. He will dash out of that cage and be in front of me at times and I don't realize it because he likes to hang upside down because what he does is where he's at right now he'll flip himself on the other side and then he'll sit there and he'll wait until i start feeding him and he'll run out of nowhere i've had to catch him like going up this wall but luckily he only gets up to like where the top of the bells are before and i get him so yeah he's another one that likes to escape but he doesn't try to push on the lid he runs across the top but he won't push it open like ming ming and some of the other ones Morticia had to put a lock on top of because she also learned, like Ming Ming, that you can just easily slide this open. And she's tried, haven't you, Naughty? See, yep, she has tried. Precious, so precious. He's too cute. Alright, I'm gonna go do some lettuce real quick. And I'll be back in a minute to see if Bella will come back out. So I will see you guys in a second. Good morning guys it is actually uh what time is it oh yeah it's uh it's like 4 30 in the morning i'm actually doing a early early morning feeding i can't really say late night because it's not really night anymore per se so i might as well call it an early early morning feeding i'm feeding some of these guys oops sorry baby and i'm also preparing Looking at some of the cages, getting stuff done. 
can't sleep anyway, so I might as well get stuff done because I have so many upgrades I'm doing. Like, Autumn's being upgraded. Night Fairy's being upgraded. Jade's being upgraded. Salem's being upgraded. Like, I have so many transfers being upgraded. Sauna's being upgraded. So we're doing a lot of upgrades, actually, in, in the next week or two. So I'm super, super excited. Look at my GBB chilling. So cute. I'm so upset, guys. I just went online to check to make sure if they still had uh, more um pink, uh, Trinidad pinks. And they sold out. So I'm going to try this other one. It's the, um, oh, God, what was its name? I can't remember. I just looked at it. It's something gray bird eater. Bah Bahala. I'm sorry. I'm not good with pronunciations. Please don't get mad at me. But it's some kind of other bird eater. And my, I have three pink salmon bird eaters. I'm hoping they get more slings in before I order. Because I'm going to order Monday. Look, there's Callie. So cute. I had to cover up some of the holes. I made them too big. <laughs> the fruit flies kept getting out. That's my fault. I will blame myself for that one. I do admit to my mistakes when I do make them. Uh, Remy's crickets are freaking hiding over here. Just threw some in the Salem. I can't wait to upgrade Salem. Salem's going to be happy in a bigger glass enclosure. Or just a bigger acrylic enclosure. I haven't decided which one I want to get. Depends on which if I find online or at the pet store. I'm hoping at the pet store near my house. Because honestly I don't want to order it online. Because when you order that stuff online. You have to pay $15 for um, shipping fees. I don't know if Viper got a cricket or not. I don't know. But uh, I'd rather pay $15 less. Because with the extra $15. I can grab another critter carrier for the ones that need upgraded. Like I said, a lot of them do need upgraded. So, and I'm all sitting here trying to think of a name. Because this is an empty swing pot. It was Sky's. Unfortunately, Sky passed away. I think what happened with Sky is, I'm not going to lie. I think it got too hot in here when I wasn't home. And I think, because I'm constantly misting the cage and stuff, stuff. Like, I'm constantly... Make sure everyone's watered very well. But like I said, with baby slings, it's so hard. It's so touch and go. Unless you're very experienced and know what you're doing. And honestly, I never... This is the first year I've dealt with slings. I've had tarantulas since I was five. But I've never had, like, tiny, tiny slings like that. Um, but Jade's doing good. But because of that happening, Jade's being upgraded right away and out of that sling pot... Because avicular species do need a lot of ventilation. And I punctured big holes in here since they're now under crickets. Like, you can see the bigger holes I put in there for better ventilation. But I just, I want to get them out of there. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want, I don't want to lose Jade, too. Like, Antilles is really hard to get. I am ordering another Antilles. That is one of the slings I am getting. Yeah, another Antilles and the, um, gray bird eater but that's if they still have it i don't honestly don't know what they're gonna have when i order i'm ordering what's it say days i'm ordering i'm doing the order in um four days so i'm um, fingers crossed that they get new animals in which will help me out a lot because i would love to order another trinidad because my trinidad died and then we'll transit. Look at that. <laughs> Look at her butt. I think it's really cool that big circle black patch that's on the Texas tans. One easy sling so I can tell and differentiate before anybody else. I want to show you guys Autumn too. I'm really happy how Cersei's cage came out. That really came out really cool. I wish I could do that with the tarantulas, but <laughs> we know what tarantulas like to do to their plants. But I know Raven's doing pretty good with this plant. Besides pooping on it. But, oh my god. Autumn is getting too, way too big. Look at that. Autumn used to be such a tiny little sling. Now look at them. Like, they buried their water dish totally. I'm not going in there and messing with it either. But Autumn's getting huge, guys. Actually, I think I'm going to throw an extra cricket in there for Autumn. But look how big they are. So, Autumn's coming out of this carrier. And I'm putting Night Fury into this carrier. 
which I'm really super excited for the, all the upgrades. Again, the one I really need to upgrade is Galaxy. My Veracruz Red Room. They're getting freaking huge, guys. And I mean, they are getting huge. So they have to be upgraded, too. They just got their molting again, too. These guys have been molting like crazy ever since summer hit. Which I'm really happy for. I really am, but... Whew, I kind of need to slow down. Mama got, Mama only got so much money at so much times. But it's okay. I wish I knew how Lotus was doing. I'm about to... I don't want to dig them up though. Lotus was really tiny. I stuck them in here. But they're doing great. I saw them. They were it's they were peaked out two days ago. It was popped out. It was so cute. It was like they were half and half. They were over where that cricket is. So I know there's a hole down on that side. It did have other like holes, but I don't know. That's okay. They're they're mostly under this. This log, but that's a pink salmon bird eater also. I really want another pink salmon bird eater. Quite honestly, I don't know. There's so many different ones on there I want so badly. So, I'm so indecisive right now. But we'll see which ones I end up picking. But, yeah, I'm just doing some quick feedings. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. Even though I do need to get back to sleep. Because, honestly, I do have places to be in the morning. Uh Look who's coming out. I wish Coconut would come out. I just threw food in there, but they're hiding right now. Remy's coming out, though. Here comes Remy. I'm gonna probably have to throw another cricket in there. Remy's freaking crickets are hiding down in the corner right here. And he can't really get to them. Which sucks. Are we inching our way to our water bowl? I'll wait to see if they go to their water bowl or not before I pick them up and throw a cricket in there because they're just going to run right back into their hide and their burrow, so I don't want to disturb them. Ming Ming over here is giving herself in so much trouble tonight. Yeah, you. <laughs> she knows it, too. I cleaned that water dish five times a day, literally. And she's been non-stop being naughty. I know. You have been horrible. It gave her a taste of freedom, and now she's just, like, went crazy for it. I know. You want to you wanna come back out, darling. I know this. Nut job. So cute, though. Look at that face. You can't just, like, deny that face. Hi, Ming Ming. What are you doing? She's like, I'm not doing anything. You didn't catch me doing a darn thing. You're cute. I will bring you out tomorrow, I promise. You know when mommy promises something, I keep my promise. Unless emergency happens. But you will come out tomorrow with your sisters and brothers. It looks like a, a <laughs> funny little frenzy. Because I let all the leopard geckos out on my bed. And they just run around together. It's so freaking cute. I think it's the most adorable thing. Actually, I should probably record it one of these times. I get so caught up in the moment, I don't think about my camera or anything. I just play with them, and it's just so much fun. And they're just so adorable. Trying to find out where he is before I go in this cage. This is Aragog's cage. Ten to one, he's hopefully he's in there. Sometimes he pops out of nowhere behind there, and it's hard for me to see behind there. I can't always tell, quite honestly, where he's at at times. I don't see him on top of the lid or nothing. So he's gotta be in there. So. Alright, he did really good webbing. He has webs everywhere. Look at that. Beautiful. My Costa Rican striped me tarantula. That is the male. And of course, Wednesday, my female's up in there as you see her butt sticking out. Cause I fed her. Actually, I came up with actually a good name for the other sling. I'm going to name it Rocky. I'm going to stick with the Astro names. Because I love my K-pop bands. I love Astro. Rest in peace, Moonbin. That's why I named Moonbin my GBB. Because GBB slings are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And Moonbin, he was a very beautiful man. Rest in peace to him. So sad. If anybody knows anything about K-pop. Look at my fish. They're doing so beautiful.
They're so cool. Alright, let's feed Aragog. Well, I got two more enclosures to do. There's Pumpkin. She's down on... They're down on their web. And that's most of the food in there. I think they're getting ready to molt. Because the way that webbing is. Especially with being a Vicularo. So... I'm going to keep an eye, close eye on her. But... I'm going to finish up these two cages and I'm actually going to go back to sleep because I actually have to be up in, what, three hours? Yeah, three and a half hours because I have places to go, but I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. So, say goodnight, children. I wish Ivy would come out so we could see Ivy, but... Ivy, of course, like always, is in their hide. So, we're gonna say goodnight with Night Fury. Say goodnight, Night Fury. So, I'll see you tomorrow.